I'm Jim Sakala from Nanotech Research in Batavia, New York. Um, today I want to talk about um, uh, race gas. Um, I want to talk about fuel volatility and consistency. Two really important things that um, are often neglected. And if anybody wants to have maximum power, horsepower all the time, you have to have very consistent fuel and tune with the with the same fuel that you run all year. Um, if you've seen my other some of my other YouTube videos uh, testing pails of uh, sealed pails of race gas from a lot of different uh, suppliers, the consistency is horrible. Um, they, the re vapor pressure is all over the place, and and the tune from pail to pail is absolutely different and I've um, proven that on the, on the dyno. Uh, I've been doing this for 33 years, um, just testing and tuning uh, mostly race engines uh, on our Superflow dyno and I've learned a lot and I'm trying to share some of this um, with, with my customers and, the, and people that want to learn about this. The enemies of of race fuel is are three things: heat, agitation, and headspace. And we don't talk about headspace very much, but that's real critical. The the volatility of the fuel or its ability to turn into vapor, which can burn, because uh, pure gasoline and race gas won't burn. It needs to be uh, vaporized, and that requires volatility. And what the uh, the blenders use to create the volatility in the fuel is isopentane. You know, it's a chemical that boils at 80 degrees Fahrenheit and unfortunately evaporates at room temperature. And that's one of the reasons why um, the the volatility can change if the fuel is not stored properly. But uh, a, a good example of how isopentane works is uh, this is a reed vapor pressure test bomb. Uh, this is an air chamber and this is a sample um, vessel. And in here I've got, I've, I've filled this with isopentane and it's just been at room temperature and you can see it's evaporated enough to be almost 4 psi of pressure. So that the isopentane is evaporated and created pressure in the air chamber and whatever is evaporated uh, is lost. So instead of being full, there, there's a few uh, grams of isopentane missing out of that. And this is what happens to uh, stored race fuel. And there, there's supposed to be a lot of isopentane in a lot of the race gas. Uh, for example, Sunoco SR18, a 55 gallon drum, would have up to eight gallons of isopentane mixed in there when it's perfect. And if it's not uh, uh, kept under pressure or if the drum is not full, in other words, if I had filled this all the way up with isopentane, the pressure would be there, but we wouldn't have lost any. Um, so with, with a, a drum of, of any race gas, we need to keep uh, nitrogen pressure on it to prevent the, the good stuff from evaporating. And, and why is the, the volatility uh, so consistent and is isopentane so important to uh, being able to make uh, maximum horsepower? And it, it appears as though the, the more homogenized the mixture is in the combustion chamber, uh, the faster it burns, which means a faster burning mixture requires less ignition timing to create uh, peak pressure at 11 degrees after top to dead center, which is what what makes the most horsepower. And I've had experience uh, tuning uh, uh, one uh, flat track race engine that peaks at uh, 13 or 14,000 RPM. Um, we did a complete tune. Uh, with a stale pail of um, fuel, and this is uh, 
like one, one and a half psi, and and we've got optimal air fuel ratio at about 12.5 to one, and we had the timing set where it made the the most power. Yeah. So then we switched to a good pail of fuel that was instead of one one or one and a half psi it was five, and we lost horsepower. We lost between four and five percent of the horsepower. So, and why is that? Because more of the fuel is vaporizing in the combustion chamber, which is what we want, um, and creating a, rich, a richer mixture in the combustion chamber. So what we had to do was lean the fuel down, um, and we we got an optimal our optimal horsepower at close to 13 to 1. So we changed our, our optimal tune from 12.5 to 13, but our horsepower was still a little off. So what we had to do is retard the timing about 2 degrees and then our, our horsepower was back. So in that case, on that engine, we needed a completely different tune for uh, 1.5 psi read vapor pressure and 5 psi. And every fuel has got a, a race gas has got a, um, a read vapor pressure rating, and that's very important. So that, that's why it's, I've got people testing their own fuel to, to see what it is. You can make your own um, test um, unit out of uh, uh, this is a uh, radiator overflow vessel from eBay and a pressure gauge and a uh, eight inch long uh, meat thermometer, a digital. So all, all we do, a read vapor pressure test is heating the, the fuel up to 100 degrees in, in a precise air versus fuel ratio, four to one. And whatever pr pressure is built up, that's our read vapor pressure. So, and again, the, the, the key is not so much that we can make more power with the higher uh, read vapor pressure. Now we can with a two-stroke because uh, the more volatile the fuel, the colder we can run the engine and the more horsepower we can make. So uh, because it appears as though the pails of, of fuel that we buy, sealed pails, are all over the place, the uh, uh, racer is better off buying 30 or 55 gallons of, of fuel uh, and keeping it under pressure, I would test it first. And if it's if it's stale, and it happens sometimes, I, I would return it and try to, try to go somewhere else for the fuel. But wh whatever it is, you know, if it's if you buy a um, a drum of race gas and it's in, a, in an acceptable range, you dyno tune with it, um, keep pressure on it, and um, it it'll last all year and it'll be the same, as long as we keep the pressure. So in the case of uh, this example here, this, this might be like a, a, a drum of fuel with um, only one, one fifth remaining. And it, if we keep five PSI of nitrogen on it, none of, none of that remaining isopentane can evaporate and it, it'll stay fresh from full to empty. And I compare that with uh, this bottle of seltzer, and carbon dioxide in, in the water acts a lot like isopentane does in the fuel. And if you got no headspace, you know, it, it'll last almost uh, indefinitely. And if, but if you got headspace and you go down the road, and especially if it's in a trailer, and you op open up the, the, the bung to take fuel out, you lose uh, that, that CO2 in the, in the case of the seltzer, or we lose the isopentane. So we can see that, that it's heat, headspace, and agitation are, are the enemies of the fuel. But if you keep pressure on it, the agitation won't bother it, um, and the heat won't bother it. Uh, and this is a, a drum preserve system. This is this is my little my little drum of isopentane that I keep here for uh, repairing uh, stale fuel that comes here before we dyno test. And the drum preserve system is something that uh, my son Marty 
uh, manufacturers next door assembles. And this is, uh, this is sealed up. Uh, it's got a siphon tube that goes to the bottom of the drum. Uh, nitrogen pressure is put on top of the isopentane so we don't lose it and we can dispense without letting that evaporate because you can see if we didn't have nitrogen on the isopentane it would be continually evaporating boiling up and we would lose uh, what we paid for and the same thing happens with race gas because whatever evaporates and goes into the atmosphere you've paid for. So with the drum preserve system it's got a, a, a nitrile rubber seal on it, a nice gasket and very importantly it's got a high flow very high flow safety relief valve, which flows way more than the nitrogen uh, uh, inlet uh, ball valve that we got on, on, the, on the bung. And the other thing that's important is that these are custom manufactured nitrogen regulators that have a very low pressure spring in them, low pressure working pressure gauge. And if somebody goofs and cranks this all the way in thinking they're, they're shutting the, the nitrogen off, the maximum pressure will uh, is way lower than the uh, hydrostatic test pressure of, of the 55 gallon drum or 30 gallon drum. So that's the uh, the scenario for for today. We need consistent fuel, you know, whatever it is. And if you dyno tune or you, you, you field test with timers uh, at the beginning of the season, you want to have the same fuel all season long. Uh, that, that eliminates one variable that you don't have to deal with from race to race. Uh, so that's it for today. And we'll, uh, every day we seem to learn more and more about what's going on. If, you, uh, if you're watching TV and you see like an attorney or a politician being interviewed, they usually have a bookcase behind them full of, full of books. The uh, inference would be that uh, whoever's being interview had, interviewed has all that information from the books stored in his brain. In my case, I haven't learned very much from, from books here, but I've learned a lot from the thousand seized pistons that we've managed to uh, wreck over 33 years. So I should have a a bookcase behind me full of those thousand pistons and that would say more about uh, the education we've got here instead of uh, what we've learned from the books. So that's it for today. Keep, keep your fuel pressurized and uh, tune with the same fuel and that's the story. <laughs>